Carmen is in a forward bend. And we're using the pillows around her knees to open it up. She's got challenging knees, and what happens? When you have challenging knees, you need to open them up. So we've got the pillow stacked underneath and her legs are crossed over each other. We're using again the scarf over the head to just give that sensory of a comfort of closing in. She's closing her eyes and she has her arms crossed and her forehead in between the arms onto the pillow on the chair. She's feeling in a lower lumbar all the way up to the thoracic and cervical part of the spine. And again, we're gonna use the meditation technique that we used in the last class and sealing a healing white light of energy at the base of the spine. And when you breathe up, you're breathing up all the way to the top part of the spine. We're in this pose since it's one pose for eight minutes. And at four minutes, we're gonna switch the crossover of the legs, because sometimes that helps out. Well, most of the time it helps out when you cross it over the other way. So mom, just breathe in nice and strong and deep. Inhale one, two, three. Slowly exhale the breath and relax the arms onto the chair. Relax onto the, the knees. Underneath the pillow, you're recognizing with your eyes closed where the breath is flowing in the body. It's flowing to the tight knee area. It's allowing your spine to open up. And what's connected to our knees is spine, right? We breathe in that breathing technique of prana energy into the body. And our mind follows because our mind heals our body and we work together as a team with the breath. Prana energy comes in. Breathe in one, two, three. Slow exhale, three, two, one. And we're finding on the exhale that excellent sensation of folding forward a little bit more, of opening up the knee a little bit more. Our mind's eye goes to the tight areas of the body and our mind's eye sees a healing, glowing, white, yellow light in that area. And we relax into it. When we relax into it, we're actually trusting our breath to open up that tightness. And you can see she's stacked up on two pillows underneath her buttocks, because lifting the gluteus maximus up, lifting the body up and doing the forward bend on the chair helps to support it. Again, in restorative yoga, we want a three to four sensation of opening, not the five, six, or seven. If that's the case, then we stack more pillows on the chair, we stack more pillows underneath our knees and our buttocks. One more minute and then we'll switch 
legs. Breathe into it, trust your body to open up that tightness. Inhale, one, two, three. Slowly exhale, trusting your breath to open it up. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. going to come up. Raise the head up, Mom. Nice and slow. There you go. Now cross. Uncross and cross the legs the other way. So Carmen is honoring her body. She feels a deep opening. She's going with it. We backed off a little bit. But again, if this four, if four minutes only ends up being two, this is good. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, trust the breath, let it go. Three, two, one. Visualize how it would feel in the body right now with the knees opened up that's giving you a little trouble. All right, so we're just straightening out the left knee. We've had surgery knees on the left side, and that's fine. And so this is a great example of honoring your body. Now, Carmen chose to stay in the position, but just manipulated it to where it's giving her the three to four sensation instead of the five or six sensation. She has surgery knees on the left side. The camera, it's to the right, it looks like to your right. But by honoring your body, go ahead and stay in the pose. She's choosing a different variation to open up her body. Now we're going to activate the breath in the body. Let's activate the breath in this area, in and out, through the nose with the mouth closed. Keep the eyes closed. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Restorative yoga is a meditation yoga. So meditation yoga, we visualized a healing white light of energy in that area where we're feeling the most tightness. As you see in this video, Carmen maneuvered her left leg, your right, to open up the tightness and she's still getting sensation of a stretch in the forward bend. She put her hand behind her back to get another sensation of stretch in the shoulder as well and relaxing it down. Now, I want you to visualize if you have challenging knees, anything challenging in your body, your back, your knees, that you're walking along the most beautiful path you've ever walked along, whether it's nature in the outdoor forest area or along the beach. Imagine yourself doing that and your body's alive. Your body is fresh and new and it feels young. And so the tension areas that you feel in the body are no longer part of your body anymore. Your knees, your back, you're feeling energetic, you're feeling excited and you're having the wind blow across your face. You're happy to be in this body that no longer has aches and pains. You're feeling almost elated. 
in this minute of silence, feel, internalize that focus in your body. Inhales and exhales nice and slow through the nose with the mouth closed. Now we're slowly going to open our eyes. And we're slowly going to come up. I'm using the cover to respect mommy's wishes. She doesn't want to be on camera. And when you slowly come up out of a pose, you definitely want to come up and come out of the pose, straighten out the legs, sit up nice and tall. Breathe in and out. Inhales one, two, three. Exhales three, two, one. This is restorative yoga. Forward bend over a chair. We manipulated the pillows underneath the knees to help us lift up and adjust the body to where it feels good in us. This is SIFSG Productions. We do healthy living videos to help you open up the body, mind, and spirit through your own breath. And we recognize how yoga can help us help you feel great inside. Thank you for your likes your shares, going on onto our YouTube channel, Live Sunrise Beach Yoga, SIFSG Productions, and subscribing, liking, and sharing. Yoga, living life, loving it to the fullest.